is a place that has soccer embedded in the fabric of the city. They are one of the most successful franchises in terms of attendance. They have not one, not two, but three supporters clubs. It's game night in Seattle, and as always, the fans have assembled at Occidental Park to cheer on the Sounders. This is where thousands will begin their march to CenturyLink Field. Perhaps their biggest fan is one of the owners, Drew Carey. Have you guys show up here. Enjoy the game today. God bless you all for showing up, and we'll see you at the game. Let's go, Sounders! When I moved to L.A., I couldn't root for any of the local teams there because I'm from Cleveland, so I couldn't root for the Lakers instead of the Cavs or the Dodgers instead of the Indians, so uh, or USC instead of the Browns. So uh, I was looking for a sport to root for so I could go to games locally. So I was frustrated. I never got to go to any games, so I started going to soccer games because Cleveland didn't have a soccer team. I figured nobody could get bad at me back home if I started rooting for a soccer team, and I fell in love with the sport, and that's been my, now it's like my favorite sport. <laughs> The fan support in Seattle is really special. Every game night is an incredible experience. Our fans are ridiculous. I, uh, you know, I can't say enough about them. Uh, first day we went on sale, I think we sold 13,000 season tickets. It just continued to grow from there. It's, it's unlike any other place, you know, almost in the world. Um, you know, it's been a blessing for us. You know, the first three years, some of us didn't know what we were getting into, but <laughs> we're all really happy now. When you walk around the city. Especially on game day, you see all kinds of jerseys and so forth floating around. But even on normal days, uh, I don't think I've had a day in Seattle where I haven't gone someplace and I've seen somebody wearing wearing a Sounders jersey. Oh, the fans are unbelievable. I mean, it starts with the ECS, the Real FC. I mean, two you know supporters groups that are absolutely tremendous. Travel with us everywhere. One of the biggest supporters groups, not only in the city but in the nation, is the Emerald City Supporters. I think on our worst day, we might might be the second best group in MLS. I think that we have great organization. We are the best traveling group in MLS. Based on numbers, this is totally objective. We have some of the best TIFO. TIFO is that huge banners and choreography. And uh, I think we have a very good team of people that organize the group. And I think that we've created a very open, welcoming group in which people can support the way they like. The fans' devotion to the teams is really a two-way street. You can actually just go down to Starfire where we played all of our Open Cup matches thus far and go watch the team train. They'll come out to your events, they'll come out to your pubs. And in, that creates that special connection that you just don't get in any of the other major sports in America. The smallest but no less ardent group is the North End supporters. We're definitely, you know, the smallest one here in Seattle, but um, what I like is that we're just a, everybody that we've met through the group who's wanted to join has been a lot of fun and people really want to put in a lot of effort. I mean, it takes our group a little more effort to do a large TIFO project because we, we only have 86 members. We're not like as big as ECS or even as Gorilla, but I think that's just so uh, we got a lot of heart because we are small and we have to, have to put in a lot of extra effort to keep it going. The third supporters group is called Gorilla FC. But where did that name come from? <laughs> Why Gorilla FC? We used to be part of, we used to be a smaller group called Gorilla FC in the Che Guevara sense of the term. Um, and then we decided to make it more party, more fun, more, uh, less politicized and turn it into Gorilla FC. And uh, somebody said they'd wear a gorilla suit every game and somehow that kind of happened. These groups do more than root for their team. They also contribute and give back. Uh, we, raise, we raise money for charities. Uh, we're, in the last three years, we've raised over $50,000 for various local and global charities. Um, it's been a great time to just see people come together, work together, get to know everybody, and make things happen and, and you know, help grow the soccer community. So this is stuff that like, nobody else has. I'm so happy to be here.